We've tried it all. When me and my co-founder decided to start our own IT outsourcing company, we pretty fast understood that managing multiple projects, even with a tiny team, can be a headache. And of course, we started to look out for our project management tool. Being a small team, we looked out for options that wouldn't cost us all the money in the world. We did look into Asana. How much does it cost for a team of 10? Trello. Really? For agile projects? Team Gantt. Is it for tech projects at all? And of course Jira and Utrack. And since we've been planning to manage multiple uh, projects and, and not just task related activities, they were our number one options, both. Now, before I tell you what we chose and why, make sure to hit all the buttons you find below, except for the dislike button, don't make me cry. And be sure to be here on time every Wednesday for new amazing content. Let's go. Now, let's start with the basics. If you've come here out of nowhere, we all do. Now, Jira and Utrex. So what are the differences? Not many. Now, what is Jira? Jira is the number one software development tool used by agile teams to plan, track and release great software. Jira's secret sauce is the way it simplifies the complexities of software development into manageable units of work. And Jira comes out of the box with everything agile teams need to ship value to customers. And it's also one of the oldest PM tools. And what is the U-Track? U-Track is an issue tracker designed for agile software development teams. And of course, it is a great project management tool that can be adapted to your processes to help you deliver great products. And you can track tasks and bugs, plan sprints and releases, create workflows and customize them for your business processes. Now, first, let's go over the pros of each project management tool, Jira and U-Track. Now, Jira. Jira is more powerful. It's more flexible and it's customizable, not easily, but it's customizable and it has code integration and it's relatively easy to use and it has workflow configuration options and REST API and integrates with literally everything. And the great thing is it has confluence. Wow. Now, what are the pros of U-Track? Well, it's cheap. <laughs> it's cheap, it's easy to use. I mean, it's easier to use than Jira because it's super intuitive and super user-friendly and it's good looking. Look how cute those colors are. And it's super comfortable to use. That's it, cheap and easy to use. Now talking about cons, because everything has its cons. Now talking about Jira. Jira is rather expensive, check out their pricing policy and it requires a large memory. Now you track is cheaper compared to Jira, but it doesn't have that range of integrations that Jira has, which is natural since U-Track is not as long on the market as Jira and it hasn't been used by teams for such a long period as Jira. Now, if you want to learn more about personal experiences of using Jira and U-Track, Reddit would be your go-to resource. I'll drop the link below and you might learn from the thread how people found pros and cons of each tool. Now let's go back to our situation. Now U-Track feels like more lightweighted than Jira and um, additionally has all the features that Jira has. Of course, well, it lacks some analytical features, but it's more powerful at permission management and agile workflow. And additionally, U-Track has awesome integration with other JetBrains products such as JetBrains, Space and Goland. And actually, we did our own integration with Clockify, a time tracking tool, time management time tracking tool that allowed our team members to uh, track their time uh, worked on each task and they don't have to put in that time spent on each task manually into U-Track. All the time is now being transferred to U-Track automatically. So it's very useful for team members who work on an hourly basis and who have to keep a track on how much time they spend on each um, task. So they don't have to separately track time uh, in some time tracking tool and then put in that time manually for each task into a project management tool. That's nonsense. But the good looking guy you track and its simplicity weren't the major reason of us choosing you track.
Yes, it comes to the major pro of Utrecht and that is its pricing policy. Compare it on Capterra if you don't believe me. Like starting price for Utrecht users is $5 per month per user, whilst in Jira it's $10 per month per user. So for a team of 10, you'll have to pay like $1,000 for Jira and only $500 in Utrecht. And spoiler here, for a team of 10, you can run Utrecht for free if you host it on your own server, which we did. It took us a few hours and we're set to go. So for a team of 10, it's free to use. How awesome is that? Of course, if you go over more than 10 people in your team, be prepared to take out your purses, ladies, or your wallets, gentlemen, and pay for the usage of this tool. But Anyways, it's way cheaper than Jira. Before you go and check out all the other videos on my channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified for every video that I release. I release a video every single Wednesday, so make sure to be here on time. Hit the like button if you like the video or dislike button if you hate me and drop me a comment below. I love talking to people. Have a great mood, have a great day and see you next Wednesday. I'll be waiting. Bye.